<laughs> My name is Eric Crawford, uh, co-owner of uh, Oregon CBD. So we laid down nine rows of plastic here. This will be our auto flower experimental run, uh, just comparing varieties. So the first thing you want to do is prep the soil. So that involves tilling or plowing the soil. Uh, you can plow the soil first and then till afterwards, or plow and disc. The, the main objective though is to get a nice fine soil mixture. What you're looking for is soil particle sizes that are less than one inch diameter. That's really important. That allows you to form nice flat beds that are filled in the center, which helps tremendously with planting. Otherwise, uh, you start having holes and gaps and it's really difficult to actually plant. So once you get your field prepped and you've got the particle size of the soil down to where you want it, um, then you, start to, you need to start thinking about the fertilizer. So either you can do a broadcast spread or spread the fertilizer directly in your raised beds, which is what I recommend. Broadcasting the fertilizer over the entire field, that means you're fertilizing in between your beds, which means you're fertilizing the weeds, uh, and that's one of the biggest problems with growing is weeds, so trying to minimize the weed growth is essential. Um, we use organic uh, chicken manure pellets, it's a 432 Omri listed. Uh, we apply that between 50 pounds of pure nitrogen all the way up to 150 pounds, depending on uh, what field we're, uh, we're applying it to and how much uh, nitrogen is in that field. You want to aim for around 100 pounds of available nitrogen for your plants. So we use a black plastic mulch. Um, and we do that specifically to gain a little bit of heat in the soil, which really helps the plant grow uh, in the springtime. You don't want to use black plastic if you plan on planting later on. So anything past the middle of June uh, to the end of June, you start getting really hot temperatures on that plastic and it will burn small young plants, which is not good. Um, at that point in time, you can use white plastic, uh, which works great. Drip tape is another essential thing. So when you're laying down the drip tape, or when you're thinking about getting the drip tape, um, we recommend 12 inch spacing for the drip emitters. And when you lay it down, you want to make sure the emitters are facing up. It's really important that they're facing up. All of the particulates in your water will sit at the bottom of the tube, and if you've got the emitters facing down, it will plug those emitters. So it's very important that it's facing up. Also we uh, set our drip uh, to be buried at least an inch. It can't be sitting on the surface right underneath the plastic because it'll heat up and that causes hot water to be watered on your plants which of course your plants don't like hot water so it's really important to make sure it's buried. This year we're using a 13 millimeter thick uh, drip tube. Last year we did 15. Um, for beginners I recommend 15 just because it's thicker and you won't have nearly as uh, many problems with breaking it or cutting it when you're laying it in the ground because you've got to go out there and physically fix all the leaks uh, when they arise and they will arise so make sure you've got enough connectors. It's really difficult to keep your rows straight but you can do a couple practice rows uh, with no plastic and no drip tape for your first round which I highly recommend if you've never used a plastic uh, mulch layer um, and then you can uh, mark it as well. So. Another thing that's uh, really important as you lay the plastic is making sure you get enough soil on the edges of the plastic. Very, very important. If you've got a windstorm that comes through, it will rip all your plastic up and you will have to redo everything, or you'll be out there with a shovel trying to put enough soil on the edges so it won't blow away. Uh, so make sure your discs are set up in the back of that correctly and you're piling up enough soil on the edges of the plastic so it does not blow away. This is just about the right amount. Right amount. I'd like a little bit more, uh, but our soil was a little bit wet when we, uh, we ran through and I had bent this too. That's the way it goes. Uh, on the, uh, the bed height. You can go flat on the ground, 
uh, all the way up to six inches. Anything over six inches just causes problems uh, when you're driving over it or trying to control the weeds. Because um, then you start dragging your tractor if you've got six inch high beds. And also it's more difficult at the end of the year too when you're pulling plastic. So. And then our plastic is a one millimeter thick plastic as well. Um, we've used 1.25 millimeter thick plastic um, and it worked a little bit better as far as ripping. Uh, but the one millimeter stuff tends to work out just fine as well.